Right guys, so, my missus thinks I'm crazy, it's going to get dark soon, but I got delivered the windshield for, from Kawasaki today, and there she is fitted. I hope you had a laugh at me putting it together, but there she is, she's the tall, all fit, so I'm going to go out for a quick ride, see if I can find some, I found she's very, see, she's quite stiff at the beginning. They're the mounts. That just makes it look a bit chunkier, to be honest. But oh, I've got fingerprints all over it. But anyway, there's on there the bottom lugs, and then just pushes on. I'm assuming she'll get easier with time. But the reason I went for this one, because believe me, there are cheaper options out here, is it's got a lock on it there. which I like because I don't trust people so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to find a bit of dual carriageway heat grips I think quickly going to find a bit of dual carriageway and see if it's taking care of the wind issue I'm not sure about this wrapping thing around it, but it's a bit distracting actually. <laughs> so anyway, she comes up to about the right height, she's about level with my chin there, so hopefully when I go up to speed, she'll be flipping the wind over my head. Because on my initial uh, review video, well not review, what did I call it? First impressions. On my first impressions video, I did mention the wind hit you straight in the forehead, which was just... <laughs> it didn't hit you in the chest on the VS, because of the dynamics of the front headlight, I think. You would expect it to hit you in the chest, but it doesn't. It hits you right in the middle of the forehead, which... While not too bad, it's, it's something that would get tiring over long distances, which... As I've mentioned previously quite a few times, I really want to tow on this bike, so quite literally that would be annoying. So I'm literally going to go out and see, get us on the dual carriageway, I'm trying to think of the nearest. It's not too far away. I suppose the good sign is I'm riding along at 40 and there is literally no wind blatting me in the eyes now. It's, it's kind of weird, I can feel it on the periphery. Go like that, it's nothing. <laughs> Alright, so not too difficult to fit. I mean, you saw me having a bit of a laugh, but that's because I'm a bit of a klutz. I hate fiddly stuff. She was a little bit fiddly, but... Well, it took me 20 minutes, maybe? So, we'll see. But like I said, I had that locking feature on, which was a big selling point, because... I tell you, Kawasaki, whew, God, do they overcharge. Uh, I think it came to 500 and body bar and whatever. I'll, I'll find out the exact figure and put it up for you. Um, But uh, yeah, they, they oversell it, but the only other options was like the Givy ones or something which actually come up from the bars and stick up here. And I just think they look cheap. And they don't actually, they don't go with the look of the bike. And I was, for me, that wasn't really good enough. So I was, uh, I was reluctant to buy one of them, even though they are a lot cheaper. But the way I see it is if I was going to be doing thousands and thousands of miles, it's worth spending the money now and getting a quality pizza kit, you know? Um, I have to admit, even at 40, I'm kind of noticing the difference here. I'm not getting any... Really, dude? BMW drivers, every time. But yeah, um, no, I'm actually quite comfy here. Admittedly, it's 40 mile an hour, so the test is to get her up to 70, so... 
we shall see. So at 70 before, I'll see if I can find a bit of footage and then I'll play them side by side, well not side by side because I don't have that editing capability but I will put them one clip after the other so you can see if you can see the difference just on the camera microphone Right now it's kind of strange, at 40 I can, I can hear the wind up in the top right I don't know if I'm just not sitting straight, but I can hear the wind up at the top right of my lid. I think even at 40, it's taking all the wind that would usually go around you and it's pushing it all up. So I'm hoping that when I get to 70, it will literally take all that air and because of the speed, it'll throw it up and over. So we'll see. I'm uh, I'm quietly confident because like I say, she's uh, the height's just about right. I'm not looking through the windscreen which I know a lot of people like to do, but I mean, if it's raining, you're, you're buggered. You're, watching, you're looking through your screen and you're looking through your visor. I mean, there's two layers of rain. There is absolutely no wind hitting my chest though. I'm actually getting, <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing my, my full suit and there is no wind hitting in the chest, which I'm used to. So I'm actually starting to get a bit warm. <laughs> I actually forgot I could take it to 6,000 reds there. <laughs> Let's see how she pulls from 40 mile. wind has hit me on the top of the lid now, it's not actually pushing my forehead back or anything. The only issue I might have is that it's loud, the wind's hitting me and I forgot to put earplugs in because it came out quickly. But I think if I had earplugs in I'd be fine. I mean, it's actually really comfortable. But yeah, definitely earplugs. But no, it's got rid of the issue. Look at all the bugs straight away. But no, she's fine. I'm sat here at 70. No wind on my shoulders, no wind on my forehead. Earplugs in to take care of the wind noise and no, I think I'll be away. Oop, 75. Well that goes to show I'm doing 75 now, which I shouldn't be, apologies. Uh, when I was I was doing 75 there and I didn't even notice, so it kind of shows how comfortable it is. I dropped down to 60 feet, get a great patch. But no, worth the money. I'm happy. I will be touring next year. So I will be, yeah, see there, I turned my head about 68, 70, 68, I turned my head there. And usually that'd be blotting your head to the side and you'd be feeling it. No, I was fine, absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm quite happy. Right, so I'm going to do the test with the visor up, just for a laugh. Off to 70. That's amazing. You probably can't hear me right now, so I'll shout, but... 
riding along at 70 with my visor up and I can see. So yeah. Windshield works. Well, she sat at 70, uh, 5,000 revs. Uh, I'm comfy as hell. This bike can, uh, she can tour as well. I'm a happy man. Okay, so, gonna ride along a bit at 70. And I'll show you before the windscreen and after the windscreen uh, and see if you can hear a difference on the mic. To be honest, judging by the noise, I think you guys are actually going to think it sounds louder. But you just have to take my word for it, it's a lot more comfortable. Before I couldn't, I, what, I did 70 for maybe 2 miles and I felt it on my neck straight away. I mean this time I was doing 75 and I was like, oh shit, I'm doing 75, so the difference is huge. So, well there you go guys, if you want a decent windshield spend the money on the crack right he's got a, back, a bike on the back so he's not going to mind me filtering who's a tosser? who's a tosser? you're a tosser yeah you are <laughs> I can smell god he's burning fuel as well look at him you probably can't see that but it's right up his arse end So, thumbs up from me. Kawasaki windshield. And for the price, well, for the price, you know she's going to last. It's not a flimsy little thing. She will cover all the miles that I intend on doing. Right, so I've done like five miles, and that windscreen's covered. <laughs> See, I don't know how you can get a windscreen that's up here. I mean, look at all these bugs. Like, after about 50 miles, you'd just be blind. But that's perfect. I can see she's just the right height for me. I was a bit worried I'd gone too big, because that's the biggest one they do. They do this one, a medium, and just like a cafe razor wind deflector. Which, by the way, has the same brackets on the side of the forks. So, what I'm actually thinking is you can get this comes with this, wind, this windshield, these brackets for the windshield with a lockable side and then you've got the lugs that go on your forks I'll show you when I stop but those lugs that go on your forks, they are for all three of the Kawasaki windshields I don't know why you get a medium and a large but there is like a cafe racer style wind deflector thing which if it bothers you having those little lugs sticking out I think it looks a bit more meaty but if it bothers you, you can always buy the, uh, the Cafe Racer deflector thing. Or, you could buy the Cafe Racer deflector thing for the looks, and then you've always got the option to fit a bigger windshield later on. I should probably point out, I don't work for Kawasaki. Oh, shit, it's meant to be 40. I don't work for Kawasaki, I, you know... I'm not selling anything, you know, I'm just... This is what I think, that's all. Oh, do you know what? You can feel the difference of her on. But I mean, I won't be riding on town with the windshield on. It's literally there just for if I'm going to be doing stretches over 60. Because I think, obviously, it is quite distracting having this line across here. I think over a long distance you'd be fine. You just It would be like a white noise in the background, but just a visual a visual white noise, if that makes any sense. You get used to it very quick. I mean, I'm over, I'm looking over it, no problems. But I think in town, you've obviously got a lot of 
distraction, you've got a lot of stuff going by and you have to be aware so you know I wouldn't see the point in having it just for on town but that's why I got one that could detach as well but no, for long stretches on the motorway or long cruising rides at 60 or above spot on like in fact, oh yes alright, what I'll do is I'll go to the Tesco, yes, I'll go to the Tesco car park because it's lit and you can have a look. Okay guys, so this is how she looks. I think there's an option, I got her in the black, it's probably more in keeping. But yet another key to go on my keyring. All you do is easy to actually see through it. It's like a little locking nog. So you can see it there. There. So it was locked. No, it's not. I'll see if it's still stiff and I'll whack myself in the face again. There you go. So that's what you're left with. Just some mounting plugs on the side. Barely noticeable. But like I say, if that's an issue, you can always buy the cafe racer type thing. Otherwise, just locks on like that. And there you go. And then you can always lock her in place. If you're going to be leaving her overnight. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Any questions as usual, just... Fucking hell, these lights have got it against me. Yeah, any questions, as usual, just uh, ping me a message or comment on the video. I, I've actually started to get comments now and, you know, I love it. I take time. I answer pretty much everyone or I at least like it if there's no obvious answer to it. But yeah, by all means, guys, just uh, ping me a message if you've got any questions and I'll... Uh, I'll do my utmost to answer it. But, uh, that's me in the meantime. Uh, I think the next one is either going to be panniers or the stuff that was meant to be fitted by Kawasaki. Uh, so the gear indicator and power socket. You know the drill, guys. Take it easy, ride safe, see you in the next one. And for you guys, night ride, this is what she looks like during the night. Why she's called blue. I love this bike. I say it all the time. You guys must be fed up of it, but I seriously love this bike. <laughs>